once again from Niceville, Florida, I'm your ticker guy coming at you with a question for all of the Libertarian candidates for president, including most especially Governor Gary Johnson. Just recently on Max Kaiser's show, a man in New York called for a boycott of Israeli businesses. I suspect he was unaware at the time he did so that under the Federal Export Administration Act of 1977, as amended, and the Ribicoff Amendment to the Tax Reform Act, it can be a felony for a U.S. citizen or firm to participate in a boycott of the State of Israel, carrying a potential 10-year prison sentence. This point has been driven home even more poignantly in the last few days as Rush Limbaugh's radio show has come under economic boycott attack due to statements he made about a particular individual in the context of birth control. The dichotomy could not be more clear. On the one hand, we have a perfectly justified reaction by the public to policy positions and statements taken by Mr. Limbaugh and the call for economic retaliation through the voluntary refusal to trade. On the other hand, we have laws criminalizing calls for economic retaliation through the very same voluntary refusal to trade if the target of such refusal is Israel or businesses cited therein. Mr. Johnson has repeatedly called Israel a strong American ally. I wonder how Mr. Johnson would square his position on Israel and economic freedom with these laws, given that the libertarian platform contains a plank that says, and I quote, We hold that all individuals have the right to exercise sole dominion over their own lives and have the right to live in whatever manner they so choose, so long as they do not forcibly interfere with the equal right of others to live in whatever manner they choose. The platform also states, and once again I quote, each person has the right to offer goods and services to others on the free market. The only proper role of government in the economic realm is to protect property rights, adjudicate disputes, and provide a legal framework in which voluntary trade is protected. All efforts by government to redistribute wealth or to control and manage trade are improper in a free society. These planks in the platform are incompatible with a law punishing someone who chooses not to trade with someone or some nation on their own volition. A call for a boycott is nothing more than a request that others that believe similarly engage in the voluntary act of refusal to trade with the party who has taken a position that someone disagrees with. The right of free association, voluntary trade, and personal dominion includes the right not to associate or trade. The Constitution, formed from the Declaration of Independence, allegedly protects these individual rights. So to the governor and the rest of the party hopefuls for president, I ask, Exactly what will you do to remove these blatantly unconstitutional laws that are discriminatorily protective of one specific nation, in this case Israel, and allow the free market and the conscience of individuals to form and act on their own opinions when it comes to withdrawal of support for a given position via the free market principle of economic boycotts? It is my position as a libertarian that no person can be a libertarian candidate for president or any other elective office if they do not denounce and declare that they will work to the maximum extent within their elected office's powers toward the repeal and removal of the effect of these laws. Thank you.